Okay, welcome to this week's homework. We're looking at dividing shapes to equal parts. This is combining our understanding of fractions and what we've been learning about geometry and shapes. So for this first one, we're looking to see if each shape is divided into equal parts. Remember, equal parts are like puzzle pieces. They should be a match, same size. For this one, no, this middle piece is definitely bigger than this side piece, which this one is definitely the smallest. And then this one on the opposite side would be the middle. So these are all three different sizes. So no, this is not equal parts. This one, yes. This is divided into fourths. We have four equal size pieces. This one, no, we have a long piece. We have a tall piece. We have a small triangle. These are not equivalent. Equal, yes, this is cut into thirds. Equal, yes, this is cut into halves. Equal, no, this piece is very small where this piece is much larger. All right, loves. Any questions on these, bring them with you to class. All right, loves, this time we are cutting them into equal pieces based on the description. So here, it wants me to cut it into halves. I can either do up and down, or another option would be to go side to side, or another option would be to go either of these diagonals. Now, remember, each color is a different option. You're only doing it once because you want to cut it into two pieces. Over here, cutting it into thirds, I would go one, two, three, but you could also go this way, one, two, three. So either the red or the blue. Down here, cut it in fourths. You could do this way. Or you could do this way. And again, trying to cut it as equally as you can, but understanding that we are people and people are not perfect, right? We do it the best that we can. Over here, cutting this one into thirds, this one is a little tricky. I would put a dot in the middle and I would, let me cut my brain here. I would cut it like this into thirds. We have lots of options. That is just one way. I'm trying to think of another way. Let me think. Let me think. Um, I think that would probably be the best way. Or we could also put our dot here and do a line from each point into the center. That looks better. There we go. There's our thirds. All right, fourths for this one. Best way would be to cut it like that. And then for our last one, halves, cutting it across. This one we could also do up and down. All right, loves, any questions on these? Bring them with you to class. Back to cutting these based on their descriptions. First one is six. You could cut it into six equal pieces this way. Three, four, five. You could cut it left to right, or you could cut it in half and do thirds from there. All right, eighths. I'm going to put my circle here and I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight pieces of pie here for six. I'm going to do the dot again. One, two, Three, I'm just coming from the points. There's my six. If I want to cut my circle into eights, I'm going to start by cutting it in half. Half again, which gives me fourths. Cut my fourths in half, and I have eighths. Down here for sixes, I'm going to cut it in half. And then I'm going to do three on this side and three on this side. Over here, eighths, I'm going to cut it in half. Cut each of those in half, and then cut those halves in half. There we go. All right, questions on this page? Bring them with you to class. Here, we have two separate shapes, but each are being cut into the same size pieces. So for thirds, I'm going to do my circle. I'm going to go top, bump, bump. For this one, I'm going to do one, two, three. Over here for six. I'm going to cut it in half 
And I'm gonna say one, two, three, four, five, six. Here, I'm gonna cut it in half and then three on each side. Coming down here, I'm doing eighths. So I'm gonna do half, fourths, eighth. Over here, I'm gonna cut it in half and then I'm gonna do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Over here for fourths, halves and fourths, halves and fourths. Down here, halves, easy peasy, half, half. And then over here, halves, half, half. Questions on these? Bring them with you to class. All right, Nuggets, last one. We are writing the fraction of the shaded region. So you're writing a fraction for the piece that is the gray color or shaded. This, we have one out of two or one half. Here we have one out of six or one sixth. We have one out of three or one third. We have one out of four. We have one out of eight. And we have one out of six. All right, loves, that's the end of our work for this week. If you have any questions, bring them to class. Otherwise, have a great week.